Good evening and welcome to our first and hopefully last virtual athletic awards. We are so sad that we are not able to celebrate together at our annual banquet. The last eight weeks have been hard. The soccer, softball, and track seasons were all cut short. I know it was devastating for the girls, the coaches, and myself. Tonight, Mrs. Jones and I are going to celebrate our athletes. With having to do it virtual, it will be completely different from our normal celebration, but we are thrilled to honor your accomplishments. I would like to thank the Booster Club, Mrs. Marklin, Mrs. Kalin, and Mrs. Franks, and all of the parents that volunteered to work the concession stand, the golf tournament, trivia night, the basketball tournament, and the volleyball tournament, and everything else that y'all did behind the scenes. We are so appreciative of your help. We also have some coaches leaving us. Coach Brian Loeb, head golf coach for three years and assistant for one year. Coach Bubba Clue, assistant for three years. You did a wonderful job in working with the girls and helping build the program. Thank you so much for your time and service. Coach Chuck Toomer, cross country. 12 years as the assistant coach, one year as a head coach. Coach Toomer came in when his oldest daughter first came to the Mount, and now his youngest one is graduating. So we are so grateful for the time and dedication that he gave to the program. I would like to thank the entire coaching staff for their dedication to the athletic program and to their teams. I am so grateful for having worked with such a wonderful staff. We normally introduce each coach and then have them come up and introduce their team and talk about their accomplishments. If Mrs. Jones and I introduced each team member, we would be here for two hours. And who wants to watch us for two hours? I know I wouldn't. <laughs> so, first year athlete will receive a certificate and numerals of the graduation year. Second year athlete will receive an MSM limb letter with the symbol of their sport. Third year will receive the white sweatshirt. Fourth year will receive the wooden box with all their accomplishments of the four years engraved on the inside. All right, so we'll begin with tennis coached by Coach Glancy. The team won the conference championship and finished third at the state tournament. Presley Sutherland won the state individual title and qualified for the overall where she finished second. Way to go, Presley. All right, so making all conference. Libby Franks, Anna Grace, Tasha Moreland, Libby Raffaelli, and Hagen Smith. Presley Sutherland made all conference, all state, and Arkansas all preps. Good job, girl. Golf, coached by Coach Loeb and Coach Clue. The team finished second in the conference tournament and fifth at the state tournament. Lauren Loeb qualified for the overall where she finished third. Making all conference and all state was Isabel Chides. Lauren Loeb made all conference, all state, and Arkansas all preps. Good job, Lauren. Cross country, coached by Coach McLemore and Chuck Toomer. The team finished seventh in the conference and qualified for state. Making all conference is Fran Edwards. Congratulations, Fran. Freshman volleyball, coached by Coach Crow and Coach Pruce. The freshman team worked extremely hard this year considering they had 6 a.m. practices. The coaches were very pleased with their improvement of skills and learning to play together. Good job, girls. Varsity volleyball, coached by Coach Martinez and Coach Crow. Finished sixth in the conference tournament and qualified for state. Making all conference, Lauren Morant, Maddie Walters, Millie Allgood. Millie Allgood was also named to the All-Star State Tournament. Congratulations, ladies. The swim team, coached by Coach Quincy Johnson, Coach Robin Johnson, and Coach Ruff. Swim finished sixth in the conference meet. Qualifying for the state tournament were Victoria Chan and Olivia Chambers. Olivia finished fourth in the 200 I am. Bowling team, coached by Coach Nayert and Coach Drager. They finished third in the conference tournament, fourth in Baker's competition, and then qualified for the state tournament where they finished fifth. 
Hallie Drager made the All-State team. Congratulations, Hallie. Freshman basketball, coach by Coach Henry, is one of the longest seasons we have at Mount. They start practice in August and they continue through February. Coach Henry was pleased with their improvement. Good job, girls. Varsity basketball, coached by Coach Lawrence and Coach Henry. They finished sixth in the conference and qualified for the state tournament. Making all conference, Katherine Altoff, and making the all tournament team is Millie Allgood. The Father Keeney Award. In recognition of the service and dedication of Father Keeney, to the MSM basketball program. This award is annually presented to the Bell who most exemplifies the attitude and dedication of Father Keeney. This year's award is presented to Caitlin Torini. Congratulations, Caitlin. Softball coached by Coach Nair and Coach Morant finished the season with a three and one record and won the Central Arkansas Invitational Tournament for the second year in a row. Good job. And track coached by Coach Henry, Coach Snape, and Coach Papineau competed in the Benton Invitational. The top finishers were Kate Rayburn, fifth in the long jump, and Sydney England, fifth in the four by 100 relay. Soccer coached by Coach Pierce, Coach Bridges, and Coach McNatt. Varsity finished with a 3-1 record and finished second in the Little Rock Christian Tournament, and the JV team finished 1-1. One one. The Donnie Bridges Award. In recognition of the four-year senior soccer player who exemplifies the traits of Coach Bridges, the athlete will be a dependable and dedicated leader on and off the field. Her demeanor, de demeanor will reflect her attitude as a person, passionate, positive, eager, and always striving for the for excellence. This award is presented to Cami Keita. Congratulations, Cami. All right, and the student athletic trainers, led by our very own Jeff Stotts. As always, we're at the games to help take care of our athletes. They are the backbone of our athletic program, and we would be totally lost without Mr. Stotts and these remarkable student trainers. The Sarah Fritz Outstanding Student Athletic Trainer is named for the founding member of the Mount St. Mary Student Athletic Training Program. Fritz set the precedent of what is, what is expected from a student student athletic trainer I'm sorry I'm, I'm not catching up on my notes over here <laughs> with unmatched work ethic and dedication to the program this year's winner is Kat Altoff congratulations congratulations ladies to y'all's outstanding seasons your hard work and your dedication to the program now we will present the winners of the special awards which were selected by our athletic staff please be sure to listen to the descriptions of these awards for some of these awards, there are special criteria that must be met to be considered for these awards. Since the next three awards are named after Sister Philippa, let me tell you a bit about her. She spent much of her life at Mount St. Mary Academy, spending many hours in the gym and traveling with the Bells basketball team. Although Miss Sister Philippa supported the entire athletic program, her true love was basketball. As you hear the next three awards, you will get a small glimpse of who Sister Philippa was. Even though she is no longer with us, her spirit is definitely felt. The Sister Philippa Athletic Award. This award is given to the senior who as an athlete or a manager has contributed zest, enthusiasm, spirit, and inspiration to the Mount's overall athletic program. She exemplif exemplifies the spirit of a true Christian while representing the mercy values and the true spirit of Sister Philippa. This year, our winners are Lauren Loeb and Lily Weavers. Way to go, ladies. All right, the Sister Philippa Parent Award. This award is sponsored by the athletic department and is given to the person or, or persons who have exhibited the support and enthusiasm for the Mount Athletic Program as characterized in the past and still today by our beloved Sister Philippa. The individual or individuals who merited this award 
give untiringly of themselves. This year's award is presented to Kim Marklin and Kate Franks. The Sister Philippa Memorial Scholarship. The Sister Philippa Memorial Scholarship has been established by the Booster Club to recognize the student athlete for exhibiting the qualities that were exemplified by Sister Philippa's life of service. In order for a student athlete to be considered for this award, she must exhibit the following. Christian ideas, a positive personality, solid academic performance, perseverance, and desire. In general, she has made the athletic program better just by being a part of it. Please congratulate seniors, Sarah Johnson and Katherine Althoff. The Mary Drake Award. The Mary Drake Award was established in 2011 in recognition of Mary Drake, who was an avid athlete and dedicated supporter of the athletic program. Mary was in an automobile accident in November 2009, and we continue to pray for her complete healing. This award will be given to an athlete who, like Mary, has a competitive fire and is dependable in all situations. She is someone who will still persevere in being a leader, an unselfish team player, encouraging and optimistic on and off the playing court, not a whiner, but a doer. She has a sense of humor and much confidence, takes great pride and joy in being a teammate and is an excellent representative of Mount St. Mary. This year's recipient of the Mary Drake Student Athlete Award is Millie Allgood. The Purple Heart Award. This award is a giving to acknowledge the qualities necessary to succeed not only in athletics, but also in life. The qualities which are considered are courage, determination, commitment, and perseverance. Many times our athletes are faced with adversity during the course of their careers, which may come not only in the form of physical injury, but in the form of personal challenges. All of us face adversity but how we handle these difficult situations determines future success. This award is given to an athlete who despite adversity of any kind during their athletic career, not only came back, but made a difference in her sport or in the athletic program. The recipient of this award is Presley Sutherland. The Vassar West Scholarship. This award is in honor of Coach Lane Vassar West, class of 89, who for 28 years was dedicated and emotionally invested in the athletic program as both an athlete and a coach. This award, sponsored by the Vassar family, is given to an athlete or manager in grades 9 through 11 that shows the same type of love and commitment for their sport as Coach West. The recipient of the award is Mia Aquino. Manager of the Year. This award is presented to a manager that truly goes above and beyond. She is reliable, dependable, trustworthy, and has a great attitude. She has a love for the game of the sport that help, they help and with, help with, man, I'm having a hard time here, and is truly dedicated to their team. She makes the coach's lives easier just by being around and being able to perform her duties without having to be asked. If it wasn't for this person, the team would not be able to properly function. This year's winner is Sarah Kate McConnell. All right, the Maryland Legenhanger Passionate Athlete Award. Coach Legenhanger has been dedicated to the athletic program for over 30 years as a volunteer, golf coach, and athletic director. This award goes to an athlete that exhibits the same passion and love for the sport or sports that she is involved in and should be an excellent teammate who is always humble and encouraging. This year's award is presented to Cami Keita and Fran Edwards. All right. Most Valuable Freshman Award. This award is to the freshman athlete or manager who has contributed significantly to the overall athletic program at Mount St. Mary Academy. This award is presented to Alexa Coca and Blair Barnett. All right, the most valuable bell. This is awarded to the senior who, as an athlete or manager in two or more sports, 
has contributed enthusiasm, spirit, and inspiration to the overall athletic program. The recipient of this year's award is Caitlin Torini. Top Scholar Athlete Award. This award is given to the senior athlete who has maintained the highest academic average while also participating in the athletic program. This year's award is presented to Lily Weavers. Four-year scholar athletes. The following senior athletes have been designated as a four-year scholar athlete, which means they have participated in athletics for four years and are graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. This accomplishment is noted on their four-year athletic participation gift. Good job, girls. All right, so we'll begin. Kat Altoff, Holly Byrne, Adeline Harton, Sarah Johnson, Kami Keita. Aaron Mann, Caitlin Mollers, Caitlin Torini, Emma Talapic, and Maddie Walters. Riley Wardell, Lily Weavers, and Anison Yates. Good job, girls. The four-year athletic participation award. The following senior athletes have participated in athletics for four years. Kat Altoff, Holly Byrne, Adeline Harton, Sarah Johnson. Kami Keita, Lauren Loeb, Aaron Mann, and Lauren Morant. Kate Mollers, Emma Obert, Maddie Stracely, Caitlin Torini, and Haley Bell Fegan. Tilgen. Tilgen. Sorry. Sorry, Hollywood. <laughs> Emma Talapic, Maddie Walters, Riley Wardell, Lily Weavers, and Anison Yates. Good job, girls. Way to go, ladies. Y'all are very deserving of these awards. Again, we appreciate everything y'all have done for us this year. As soon as the governor clears us to be able to meet with the students again on campus, we will notify you and we will have you come up with your parents to take pictures to present the awards to you. So again, thank you so much for your help. I know this does not replace the banquet, but we hope this gives you some. We've had a wonderful evening honoring our student athletes and those involved in our athletic program. Congratulations to all the recipients. But let's not get out of here so fast because we have one other little thing we have to acknowledge. So Marilyn, <laughs> how long have you worked at Mount? 30 years. 30 years. So 30, 30 years. years Marilyn has been terrorizing people. I'm just kidding. Marilyn has been a wonderful asset to Mount and she is going to be retiring this year. I know I am shocked. I have been trying to run her off for five years. I'm just <laughs> you know, she is my best buddy and I'm gonna miss her. And I can't thank her enough for all that she's done. And we'll be doing something for Marilyn. So I'll keep you updated on those plans when those are made. So we looking forward to seeing everybody again and y'all have a great evening. Thank you ladies, good night.